10 Best Places to Visit in Natural and Historical Spain. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos. Number 10. Old City of Cuenca. This pearl of the Middle Ages is located high above sea level at an altitude of 956 meters. If you do not know what to see in Spain, try to get to the old Spanish city on a rock surrounded by deep gorges. The territory of the city is divided into two districts. The new city is separated from the historic center by the Hukar River. The ancient spirit of the Middle Ages is especially felt in the old part. Once here, it is worth visiting the Tesoro Catedralicio Art Museum with a collection of paintings by El Greco. In the old town, there is the Watchtower of Manana, the remains of the ruined fortress wall once erected by the Moors. The ancient convent invites tourists to visit the Museum of Science located there. The Museum of History will tell about the interesting fate of the city. Number 9. Cave of Altamira the walls of this unique cave, 270 meters long, are decorated with rock paintings. Seven corridors and a six-meter high hall cover these ancient paintings that tell about the life of primitive people. The cave was discovered by the little daughter of an archaeologist, a lover of ancient artifacts. Her attention was drawn to the huge bulls painted on the ceiling in bright colors and the drawings covering the low cave vaults. The most famous part of the rock painting is the plafin with a total drawing area of about 100 square meters. M. Drawings in a limestone cave depict various animals, reliably conveying their habits and temperament. The smallest drawing of details in the form of eyes, hooves, protruding tongues strikes with specificity and plausibility. Number 8. Ordiza y Mani Perdido National Park. The famous sites of Spain are also in its most remote corners. One of the first national parks, Ordiza y Mani Perdido Reserve, is still considered the most beautiful in the country. Ordiza Park was created in 1918 and in 1977 it was merged with Mani Perdido Park. Of all the parks that make up the natural complex of the Pyrenees, this park is considered the most striking. The main attraction of the park is the Ordiza Canyon. It impresses with huge rocks hanging from both sides of the mountain path. The river of the same name runs along the bottom of the canyon. Its waters are replenished by streams flowing down the slopes. The lower part of the park is represented by a dense forest where you can meet many representatives of the forest fauna. Number 7. Ibiza. Europe is rich in beach resorts, among which the Spanish resort of Ibiza is especially popular. Tourists rush to this sunny island in the Mediterranean Sea, which is part of the Balearic Archipelago in anticipation of the sea and round-the-clock fun. The bulk of the tourists are young people. For them, a network of nightclubs with regular show programs is open on the island. The main city of Ibiza with the same name is known for its excellent infrastructure, pleasant friendly atmosphere, and is focused on the most demanding tourists. The old part of the city is surrounded by an ancient fortress wall. Walking along the winding streets, you can visit souvenir shops, simple cafes, or good restaurants. Young people tend to the old fishing district, which is the center of nightlife. Two embankments with a mass of entertainment facilities are provided to the guests. Number 6. City of Segovia. Due to its historical significance and unique atmosphere, the city of Segovia has become part of the UNESCO World Heritage List. The tiny province of Segovia neighbors Madrid. On its ancient streets, one can hear the echoes of mixed eras, Vesgoda, Arabic, Spanish, Roman. Arriving here, tourists immediately go to the most famous place, the Roman Aqueduct. It was built from 20,400 granite blocks without the use of cement. It consists of 166 arches and has a length of 18 kilometers. Attention is drawn to the, the Fortress of Alcazar, which happened at different times to be the residence of the King of Castile, and a military fortification, and a state prison, and an artillery school. Number 5. Costa Brava in Catalonia. What to visit in Spain for lovers of beach pleasures. The picturesque resort of Costa Brava is famous for its sandy beaches, protected from sea winds by mighty cliffs with slopes densely overgrown with olive and pine groves. Nature has created a true paradise here. The coastline is generously indented with small bays, and the economic unattractiveness of the area has left intact the pristine landscapes, preventing ports and moorings from forming there. There are many cozy small towns on the territory of the resort, which are smoothly located one after another. Each town has its own offer. In Lord de Mar, you can visit theatrical shows and a medieval castle. In Tossa de Mar, it is worth visiting the museum with the works of Marc Chagall. And Cadacas boasts the Pearl Mora Center for the Arts with works by Salvador Dali. In Pubal, you must see Dali's own castle. Number 4. 
old city of Toledo, the significance of this landmark of Spain lies in the uniqueness of its cultures and eras. The ancient capital of the country has retained its original appearance even today. The Arab fortress Alcazar rises above the city, within the walls of which the Museum of the Armed Forces is now located. A notable place is the huge bridge of San Martin, built in the Gothic style. On both sides, it is protected by powerful towers and consists of five arch spans. The attention of tourists is also attracted by the building of the Tavera Hospital in the Renaissance style. Inside the hospital, there is a museum with works by El Greco, Zerberin, Tintoretto, Ribera. Number 3. Royal Palace When it comes to testifying to the past greatness of the nation and mentioning the historical sites of Spain, Madrid is the first city that deserves attention. It is here that one of the most beautiful palaces in all of Europe is located. The Royal Palace was built in the 18th century, and since then until recently it was the residence of the Spanish royal family, and later it was used only for official ceremonies, receptions, and other special occasions. Impressive are the rich Baroque interiors of the palace halls, which house the rarest and most valuable works of art. Nowadays, the palace is open to visitors, and you can see a lot of interesting things in it. For example, visit the royal library, the armory, royal kitchens, walk along the main staircase, or look into the luxurious palace halls. Number 2. Donostia San Sebastian Spanish beaches have already become a national symbol of the country, and along with such popular Spanish resorts as Malaga on the Costa del Sol or Cadiz on the Costa de la Luz, the city of San Sebastian in the Basque country is one of the fashionable resorts. The city's main beach, La Concha, is one of the most beautiful and famous beaches in Europe. It stretches along the coast of the bay of the same name for about 1.5 kilometers. The shape of the beach is reminiscent of a giant shell, and from any point you can enjoy beautiful views of the beautiful places on its opposite side. The finest white sand and a very gentle entrance to the sea create ideal conditions for relaxing under the warm Spanish sun. In addition to swimming, you can practice various sports here, including beach soccer, surfing, and windsurfing. Number 1. Alhambra Granada is the heart of southern Spain, a beautiful city at the foot of the majestic Sierra Nevada at an altitude of more than 700 meters above the sea. One of the most important architectural creations of this city is the Alhambra Palace Complex, an ancient building of the rulers of the Emirate of Granada, a priceless monument of Moorish architecture. Surrounded by mountains in the midst of landscape gardens, this complex began to be built in the middle of the 13th century. The main entrance to it is the Gate of Justice in the form of a powerful vaulted arch. The entrance is followed by the wine gate. Then a view of the Plaza de los Algebes opens, and only after the square does the entrance to the palace follow. 